The second chart that is drawn to time scale that we are going to discuss is standardized work combination table. So it has a big name. You won't find it mentioned in many books, but it is also an important chart. This form or this chart shows the combination of manual work time, walk time, and machine processing time. So manual work time, walk time, and machine processing time for one operator in a production sequence. It is useful primarily for manual cyclic work that repeats nearly identically for every part produced. The primary examples are in assembly procedures, any assembly procedure, but it also could include other manual processes that are primarily cyclic. So just like we saw for two-handed chart, this, this chart is also used for the job that are highly repetitive. It can be very helpful to identify the waste of waiting and overburden. So we have seen these two types of waste. So this is basically a waste and this is uh, called um, uh, Muri. So it can identify that. It provides a standard that can be clearly communicated to employees during the training process. So this is actually common to all charts that any charts can be used as a training aid as well. So you can use it to describe the process. This is an example of this chart. So you can see, first of all, the symbols here. A solid line is showing any activity performed by hand. This wave line is showing walking. And dotted line here shows the automatic activity. And you can see that these uh, task elements are drawn to a time scale similar to a graph. Time in this case is in seconds. So first activity in this case is to get stainless tube placed to, uh, to the bender. It is performed by hand. And uh, this is the time scale that it is drawn on. And you can see get bent tube and so on. So before the, this activity, actually, this one, there is some walking involved. And again, the solid line is showing some activity performed by hand. And this dotted line is showing activity performed automatically. So first we place the tube in the bender and the bending automatically performs the bending. So that is why we have shown the dotted line. Again, this is walking and this is something done by hand. So in this case, it is placing something to, to the assembly fixture or place and clamp. So these all horizontal solid lines are showing something done by hand and dotted lines are for automatic cycle and these, these lines are for, for walking. So you have to draw according to the scale and you can see we have mentioned the time here as well. So some of this time will show the total cycle time. Okay, you might have also noticed this tag time. Tag time. So tag time is the time the job should take to perform, but actually it is taking uh, more than that. It is taking around 50 seconds or so, uh, slightly more than 50 seconds, but it should take ideally 40 seconds. Here is another example. So again, the manual or by hand tasks are shown as solid automatic as dotted and wa walking as this uh, wavy line. So this is the case of a restaurant. So the waiter takes the order and it takes so much time to take the order. Then there is some walking. Then there is something manual done that is prepare lemons, then walking. And there is some, some automatic operation that is some operation performed by machine, then walking, manual walking and so on. So in this case, the total cycle time turns out to be uh, around 76, 77 seconds if we reach here. But if we include the waiting as well, so total cycle time is 90 seconds and the tag time is also 90 seconds. 
So this was standardized wall combination table.